like, I'm just going to go down the line, and if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, tell us the film that you were a part of and the role you played in the making of that film. I'm Franco Andrade, and I am the director, painter, editor of <laughs> Dissociative Identity Disorder. Well, I'm going to jump in with a couple of questions. I'm going to go in screening order to get us going. So, uh, Franco, we'll start with you first. Yeah. You were a one-man band, a solo artist for this piece, which I think is very unusual for filmmaking because it tends to be a very collaborative art form. So can you talk a little bit about pros and cons, benefits mm -hmm. and challenges that come along with creating a film all of its all on your own? And I'd love for you to talk a little bit about how that played into the concept behind the film as well. Yeah, so I decided to take this project uh, as a one-man band because it was something very personal to me and I wanted to experiment and tap right into the source material inside of me. That was a very pro side of it, that I was able to be extremely personal and extremely honest with the work. And the con is obviously that you have to do a lot of work <laughs> and the editing. And yeah, that's the, that's the main drawback, but otherwise it was good and yeah I was uh, trying to express some uh, conflicts that I had been going through and transitioning from my teenage years onto adulthood uh, wondering who I was and how I was very fixated on like face and how my face affected who I was when I was 18 I went through a um, corrective jaw surgery and then it got complicated and I had to go through several other surgeries to reconstruct my face. And going through that, I was very interested in the idea of identity and face, facial distortion, and I wanted to express it all through painting and editing, and that's how that film came about. <laughs> Thank you. Did you start off as a painter and evolve into a filmmaker, or what's the connection between painting and film? Uh, no, I started as acting, uh, child acting, and then when I got to be on set, I fell in love with the process and wanted to start making my own movies. And then, somewhere along the line, I was having trouble with being too narrative, and I needed something, some other way to translate all the feeling that I wanted to translate I started to look at Andy Warhol and Basquiat and different ways of expressing yourself and that's how I started to experiment. I, I watched uh, David Lynch's The Alphabet mm -hmm. and that inspired me to try stop motion and painting together. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> um, so Franco, I would love to talk about the voice at the end of your piece. So yeah. For the most part, there is a dialogue, there is a conversation throughout it. At the very end, can you talk about, because I'm assuming that's your voice, correct? No, 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 no it's, it's okay. my younger brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, can you um, talk about the choice then to use it, your younger brother? And I'm really curious about the specific age and why you decided to age down the voice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, he's seven years old and I was, well, I, first I only did the paintings and then I started to add the other elements like the intro and then I was needing a final touch and my brother happens to also like um, obscure, creepy things. And <laughs> I, I asked him if he would count down and then say this, now you're gone. And he loved it. And <laughs> we recorded it. And, and yeah, that's, I, I thought it was a good It's really a practical <laughs> ending. And it shocked me because I'm watching these faces. And when I viewed it, I saw older faces. And so it shocked me to have that younger voice. And I thought it was really cool. <laughs> well, thank you all so much on that note. <laughs>